Hey everyone, you're here with the Vigilant Christian Mario, and you're here for another edition of Illuminati Media Expose. In today's video, we're going to be answering the question, has Eminem broken free of the Illuminati, and is he now a Christian? A lot of people are starting to believe this, so I wanted to make this video here today to give you my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, so, let's get right into it. Now, why are people starting to believe this? It's because Eminem's had a lot of changes uh, in his last few albums in the last couple of years. Uh, he's went from, uh, you know, looking more like his slim, shady alter ego to uh, utilizing Christian symbolism as well as looking more like uh, Marshall Mathers. Like I said, his original look was the slim, shady look, which is an alter ego that he created, a satanically altered uh, personality um, that, uh, if you even notice here in the symbols, is very satanic. It's 666 on the left side, um, and this is his wild, uh, demonic personality. Now, he's he's utilizing more uh, his Marshall Mathers um true self personality now uh, and there's also a lot of Christian symbolism so people are starting to think that uh, you know he's um, he, he's going against the Illuminati and even in his song uh, Not Afraid a lot of people have tried to say that that's him reaching out and uh, trying to reach out to the world because he's trying to break free and expose them um, now this is very possible. I'm not going to deny that uh, that's not a possibility at all. What we need to recognize is when the artists sell themselves out to the music industry and Satan like this, uh, they don't know what they're getting into. When you sign a contract with the devil, you don't know uh, what the fine print's all about. So it's very probable that once you get into that situation that you're going to freak out and recognize uh, what a horrible decision you made and that um, obviously since you know Satan is real now because uh, for a long time he gave you fame and fortune with a contract that you signed with him, um, you're going to recognize that God is real as well, so you can uh, very much so turn to God. Um, now the problem is, the media isn't going to put anything out that they don't want. That's just plain and simple. It always has to play into their agenda, so it's possible also that the Illuminati will start to begin uh, to use this as a piece of propaganda to, um, you know, lure people in in a way. So you never truly know if this is for real because um, you, you know you see the Christian symbolism that he has but you also see uh, he is doing Illuminati symbolism you know uh, so you see here he's got the triangle which is the eye of Horus uh, pendant um, and at the same time he's wearing crosses on the second day uh, now remember he doesn't even dress himself he's got people to dress them uh, they're so controlled uh, it would blow your mind um, you know and even on the album here you see the eye symbolism as well so uh, and right in the middle you see the cross so you see both uh, symbolism being portrayed here. So we need to be vigilant and recognize this, that uh, first of all, the elite control the media, they're not going to put anything out there that they don't want, um, but it is very probable that he is trying to break free. Now I do want to point out uh, what's going on here is another part of uh, the symbolism on the recovery album. This is showing you uh, that the elite are in absolute control of them. If you look in the background, you got the tall buildings which represent the corporate high power structure of the elite and he's in a little box here and that's really what an artist's life is about um, they get imprisoned into these uh, programs that um, the elite administer onto them it's called the MK Ultra mind control program they did they will administer satanic ritualistic abuse so that they can create the perfectly undetectable mind control slave if you haven't seen my video on MK Ultra go back to my channel and check it out it's in my media series it's going to give you a fundamental understanding Understanding as to what the artists are actually going through and it's absolutely terrifying um, and, and horrible to think about what they go through and anyone who desires this is just absolutely mad and has no idea what they're getting themselves into um, you know they live a life of entrapment and that's the symbolism that we're seeing here Eminem in his little box uh, and he can't break free because the leader in the back and they're uh, overseeing him now, another thing to notice is this, this uh, picture went around YouTube, and he's saying here, I've been kidnapped. And that's essentially what the artists are. They're kidnapped. Um, if you look at the Katy Perry video in Wide Awake, she's in, um, at the end of it, she's in a wheelchair, all drugged up. Uh, there's two satanic men blocking the door uh, with 
big Baphomet heads. Go check it out. Okay, and explain to me what that exactly means. Like, what does that have to do in a video? Um, okay, and go check out my Katy Perry video on the mind control, and I'm going to expose all the symbolism in there for you. Because um, there's no other logical way to know that they're externalizing their plans uh, right in front of your eyes, because television is a conditioning process to brainwash people, uh, to desensitize them to the truth, so that, you know, oh, I saw it in a video, so it can't be true. Um, and just all this nonsense. So we have to be able to be uh, vigilant and recognize these things. Um, so why would he say he's being kidnapped? because that's part of the, the mind control. They can't escape. They have handlers on them all the time. Uh, and they're trying to break free. You even see Katy Perry uh, break, trying to break free in the Wide Awake program. She's in the mind control uh, morgue, or uh, not morgue, but uh, hospital, really, where they're administering her. And uh, she's trying to escape uh, from it. And then you got uh, Nicki Minaj and B.O.B. in the video Out of My Mind, and you see them uh, in cells. And, and they're going insane and the video is out of my mind because it's in reference to the MK Ultra satanic ritualistic abuse it's implied on these people um, so I mean this stuff doesn't even make sense you you call this uh, art you call this creativity no I call it the uh, what it is and that is the externalization of high elite programs and plans that are uh, influenced by powerful cults and elite groups of satanic people um, who are after the control of your mind and desensitizing you to the absolute horrible truth about uh, the matter on these things. Okay, so we need to be vigilant and recognize this. So now I just want to point out here what selling your soul to the devil is all about. Um, you know, you listen to Bob Dylan. I did a video on Bob Dylan. Go check it out. He literally says in an interview, okay, that they ask him, why are you still doing music? And he goes, well, it goes back to that destiny thing. Uh, I made a contract with the, and then they kind of blur it out, um, and I'm just upholding my, bar my end of the deal. Okay, so you sign, to get fame and fortune and to get where these people have gotten in their lives, you literally got to sign your name in blood with the devil. There's no way around it. Uh, you go and, and offer yourself for this and they, they, they put that on you. Now, to give you a f more understanding of this, we can even look at the Disney movies. Now, if you haven't seen my video on Disney exposing how the Disney organization is a satanic organization that is after the control and is really after your children, and we need to be 100% vigilant, um, go check that out. All Disney does is promote, uh, you know, innocent young girls uh, and artists to your, your young children, and then that artist, by the time they're 16, they're dancing on a pole and stripping and they're now the bad girl. Okay, this is to completely corrupt uh, society. Also, Disney is all about witchcraft. It's all about, you know, magic and, and all that stuff. And that stuff is forbidden in the Bible. But we're so desensitized in our culture. Oh, no, witches and that. That's not bad. That, oh, no, yeah, this is, those are the crazy Christians. They're taking it too far. But that's part of the conditioning and the brainwashing process that's occurred um, by these medias over a, a period of, of, you know, 40 or 50 or however long these, the, the visual media has been uh, being used on people to make them not even recognize uh, the evil anymore. So they're desensitized to evil. And that's why we see a progression of moral uh, collapse in society and just the progression of darkness um, in our world. And so the reason I wanted to point out this uh, movie here, The Little Mermaid, is because it actually talks about and externalizes the process to your children about how to sell your soul to the devil and what that is all about. And why it's in this video here today is to show you that it's very possible that Eminem is trying to to turn his life to God because um, they don't know what they're getting into okay when they sign a contract so obviously this squid looking woman I don't even care enough to go and research what the name is uh, but uh, you, you know who I'm talking about she's on your screen uh, she's a representation of Lucifer the devil okay now in the uh, video and the movie she uh, actually has a contract that she makes Ariel sign Okay, so there it is. There's a contract to sign. The evil one comes to that, offering something. She's offering her to have legs and not be a mermaid so that she can go after her lover. Um, now, Ariel signs it. And if you notice, um, at the bottom, uh, it literally says, uh, for all eternity. So she's signing a contract with this demonic devil representation to have something that she doesn't want. But the problem is she doesn't read the terms and conditions and the blue uh, and the fine print. And that's what these artists sadly do. You know, they get in 
yeah, it's all about fame and fortune. Eminem, when he was young and struggling with, uh, with his, uh, uh, with Kim and his daughter, and they were barely making it, he's like, oh, this is my way out. Yeah, I'll sign the contract. I'll be famous. I'll make millions of dollars. This is great. I don't care. I'll, I'll do it for Satan. This is awesome. And then they don't know what they're getting into, and later on, they're entrapped and they're enslaved. Okay, and they're now uh, put into these programs. They can't escape. If they escape, they're going to get killed, um, and they're under just unbelievable amounts of, of just nonsense. It's just crazy what they get in themselves involved with. Um, one other thing is you can even see the artists talk about these things in their songs. Uh, if you really study and analyze the lyrics for Eminem, we can simply look at his song, uh, Saying Goodbye Hollywood, where he says, it's like the boy in the bubble who never could adapt. I'm trapped. If I could go back, I never would have rapped. I sold my soul to the devil. I'll never get it back. I just want to leave this game with level head intact. So there he was even telling you in saying goodbye, Hollywood, which is saying, see you later, Hollywood. I really wish I could leave you. You guys are nuts. I can't believe I even did this. I'm like a boy in the bubble. I'm trapped. Um, I'll, I'll never be able to adapt to this. Um, you know, I sold my soul to the devil, which is a literal statement that he sold his soul when he, when Dr. Dre, the satanic Freemason, came to him and offered him fame and fortune if he would just join the satanic cult and probably do blood sacrifices and rituals in the process and write us a blood contract with the devil, um, you know, and, and he just wants to leave this game he, with his head, his head on his shoulders. Um, but the sad reality is it's, it's almost too late, um, and he's either going to die or um, they're going to you know, it's just sad. I don't know what's going to happen to him. And that's why at the end of this video, I would just ask everyone here to help me pray for Eminem, especially my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, these artists are who um, end up in these situations, they don't know what they're getting into. And although they made the decision in the very beginning to sell their souls for fame and fortune and for the things of this world, um, you know, they're still human beings and it's very sad and they need our prayers more than anything. Um, so please help me uh, join in prayer for Eminem. Uh, you know, the Bible says that um, what good is it to gain the whole world? and lose your soul. And that's literally what these poor lost souls have done. They've gained the whole world, fame, fortune, sex, whatever material pleasures that they can have, but they've lost their soul. And the enemy has them in a level of bondage that is just mind-blowing. Um, they're literally entrapped, and they need our prayers. So brothers and sisters, please help me pray that Eminem would find God, that he would um, turn from uh, anything, and even if they don't let him go and they kill him, that at least we can reign in the kingdom uh, with him because he decided to uh, follow God. You know, um, it's my it's my belief that uh, you know these artists are under this type of thing, and it's not their fault. They're being used by puppets. Uh, uh, the, uh, sorry, they're being used like puppets. That's what it's all about, and uh, they don't have any control anymore. They've lost the control. They've handed over the control to the enemy. And uh, it's a sad, sad thing. So, uh, you know, I'm sure God's heart breaks for this. And um, so should ours over these people. You know, Eminem was my favorite artist when I was a kid and when I was lost. And, you know, um, even if he's used to perpetuate satanic influences in society, the key thing is he's being used to do so against his own free will. Um, maybe, probably, you know, and that goes for all of them. Um, it's really sad. So let's pray uh, vigilantly and, and very hard and ask God to do miracles in Hollywood in that satanic town of lost souls and broken dreams. So this is the Vigilant Christian saying, God bless each and every one of you. And as the world that we live in is so corrupt, so disgustingly broken, and all there is is Jesus Christ, turn to him. And as always, stay absolutely 100% vigilant. God bless you all.